Today's video is going to be about if games play better on Windows 10 or Windows 11. All of today's tests will include the same game's graphics settings and the Steam Deck was plugged in the entire time while I was playing the games. So you're probably asking yourself, Windows 10 and Windows 11, aren't they going to perform almost exactly the same? That's what I thought as well. I wasn't even going to make this video, but I did it anyways, and the results were very surprising. So let's get into it, shall we? So the first game I tested out was Warzone, and these are the graphics settings I used for both Windows 11 and Windows 10. Now the first map on Warzone I tested out was Fortune's Keep, and the results, as you can tell, were pretty astonishing. Windows 10 held 10 plus FPS average over Windows 11, and Windows 11, if you can't tell, just to me seemed a lot more grainier. Now both Windows 10 and Windows 11 got to lows of 40s, Windows 11 got lower to mid 20s and to 30s quite a bit, and Windows 10 got highs that Windows 11 never seen. These highs include high 60s to even 70 FPS. Windows 11 averaged about 50 FPS, while Windows 10 averaged 60. And this was on Fortune's Keep. Let's check out Rebirth Island. What was interesting about Rebirth Island is Windows 11 averaged 10 FPS lower than Fortune's Keep. It averaged around 40 FPS most of the time, while Windows 10 was still in the 50 to 60 range. Not only that, the map looked even worse than it did on Fortune's Keep. And the game played horrible. It didn't feel as good. It felt very clunky. It stuttered quite a bit. It may not be as noticeable in this footage, but when I was playing it, I could definitely feel it. Now I'm going to show you the big map on Warzone, Caldera. On Caldera, it may not look like it, but this is the same part of the map and this is the same graphic settings. I don't know why it looks brighter on Windows 10, and that was pretty much the whole case for every game I played but for some reason it looks so much brighter on Windows 10 and it just visibly looked more pleasing and I could see stuff way more. On the big map, it was kind of closer to average FPS, but Windows did hold a higher, again, plus 10 FPS over Windows 11. Windows 11 averaged about 30 FPS during the game. It did up get to high 40s, but Windows 10 averaged 40 almost through the entire playthrough. But this map was much closer in average FPS than the other two. Next up on the list is Apex Legends, and these are the settings I used for both of the games. Now with Apex Legends, I played the exact same map and I landed in the exact same place. And right off the bat, it may look like Windows 10 has a little bit more FPS, but they were pretty much identical in FPS. So depending on where I'd go, the FPS read exactly the same from Windows 10 to Windows 11. I got highs up to 120 FPS. In fights, it was between 80 to 90 FPS with real lows of 70, high 70s that is. But again, the game itself, to me, looked a whole lot better on Windows 10 and it didn't feel as stuttery as Windows 11. Next game we're gonna try out is Doom Eternal. And these are the settings I used for both of the gameplays on Windows 10 and Windows 11. On this game, I went to the exact same part of the map and the FPS again was almost identical. I feel like Windows 10 did hold a little bit higher FPS than Windows 11, but this is the one time where the games played exactly identical. There was no stuttering. Both of the games played very smooth. And I will say this was more equal than the other games. To me, Windows 10 did feel like it held a higher FPS most of the time over Windows 11 by about five to 10 FPS. The next game I tried was GTA 5. These are the settings I used for both games. It's pretty much very high on everything. Now GTA 5, to me, played identical. There was no FPS difference. They both played similar. There was no FPS drops. They were almost exactly the same. And not only that, they, there was no stutter on either of the games. They played smooth and phenomenal. So there's really not much for me to say here. They both looked great and they were equal pretty much across the board. So the next game we're gonna try out is Minecraft. This is Java Edition, and these are the settings I used for both Minecrafts on both the systems. And if you can't tell, despite the FPS fluctuations, both of the games played identical. However, again, on Windows 11, I felt like Minecraft was just a little bit stuttery. It wasn't as bad. I just noticed it in times when I was in the open and not underground. Underground, obviously, both the games played wonderful. But just above ground, and you can see it in this gameplay right here, the fluctuations in Windows 11 were pretty phenomenal. FPS drops were pretty high and it just felt more stuttery than Windows 10. So again, Windows 10 felt way better than its Windows 11 version. So now that you have seen the footage, the FPS, how the games kind of look, tell me your thoughts in the comments. My thoughts is that Windows 10 to me, the games felt a lot better. Not only did they have a little bit more FPS, they just felt better. They played better, it, all around they even looked better. 
Windows 11 had a lot of times where the games just looked fuzzy or pixelated, and I didn't like that at all. So right now, I would say Windows 10 is the winner of that, but that could always change. With updates and future, I don't know where this video is gonna stand, but as of right now, um, November 2022, Windows 10 is the winner. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like and subscribe, if you wanna see more, I'll see you next time.